you sure this is the place? Don't see anything. This is the place. Just keep looking. Should have gone to the other side or to Pasir Panjang. It's closer. I think this place is too open. I didn't hire you to think, just to drive. I don't know. This is bad. Anyone sees us, they wonder why we came here. Better you pay me now, even if this is the wrong place. I pay you after you unload, not before. Maybe I changed my mind. This job, very dangerous. I know what's in there. You never told me. Now I know. You pay me more. So, now you're a businessman, huh? I can be a right-hand man. Tell you what. You got a match? is a dangerous thing. in the sea and fish it up. It smells like he's been down there for a while. Yeah, somebody obviously wanted to keep it down. Well, in this case, what goes down must come up. Lucky these boatmen know each other. Uh, uh what's his name? Sia. Uh, Mr. Sia. Uh, don't mind. Uh, you know this man? Yeah, he's Kim Seng, I think. When was the last time you saw him? On Kusu Island. A few days ago, he was living on his boat. Alone? No, with one man. Uh, How does he look like? Not so sure. And you haven't seen his boat since? No. Anything else about him or not? Uh, what about his business? Last month, he said he was going into uh, a new business. Uh, he said that uh, finally his boat will make him rich. What business? Don't know. Okay, thanks. You can go now. Remind me not to get into his business. Chandra told me that you'd be the best one to come since you knew her. Yeah. 
Yes, I did. What happened? Well, looks like suicide with her own weapon. We thought you should be the one to tell ESB Pang. Suicide? Are you sure? We are taking prints, but I think it's quite obvious. Man, wait! For weeks, cried my eyes out, got stone drunk. Nothing helped. One morning, I saw myself in a mirror and I didn't recognize myself anymore. I even wanted to quit the force. But you didn't. No, I didn't. I was killing myself inside. I'd given myself a death sentence and I was dying, bit by bit. Then it struck me who am I to pass judgment on myself? What's done is done. Life goes on. Are you okay, man? Yeah. What have you heard? Too early to tell. But I was clever. Hey, you! You go pee! I hope so. I can't afford any more problems. Anyway, it's over. What about Prince? No Prince. No one saw you? The exchange is happening soon. I already got some buyers. I'm not sure about this anymore. Hey, come on. We can do it. And Wei Chang is not going to let us back out now. I heard some rumor about this Chang. He's not a nice guy. He's a businessman. Like you and me. You know what they call him? The shadow man. When he kills you, all you see before you die is a shadow. You're watching too many Hong Kong gangster movies. Calm down. Gambling was easier and safer. Never mind. This will make us rich. Better. Because after what I just did. Think about it. No more mahjong games. No more hiding behind the coffee shops, trying to keep one step ahead of the police. Menga, sugar! From now on, we drink XO. I'm just worried about the risk. Trust me. Worth it. Very uh, soothing, no? Huh? Inappropriate. Huh? Another joke. What music is that? Handles water music. Victim died from bullet wounds inflicted at close range. Someone tied the bag of rice to the body. But you can't keep a good man down. I don't know which things more. This room or your jokes. Hey Mike, what do you think? Huh? 45 caliber. Looks like it. What about time of death? No less than three days. Probably four days ago. That means the trail is cold already. No prints, no boat. No weapons yet. We're gonna start somewhere. Let's bring this slugs out to ballistics. Nothing like a challenge, eh? Gentlemen. Some people. No sense of humor. Man. You're going to tell her? I'll come with you. No, it's okay. I think it's better if I talk to her alone. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, see you. 
Elaine. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm sorry. I heard what happened. I know she's a friend of yours. She was. But she's even closer to Pang. I don't know what to say to her. Well, I've never found an easy way telling people these things. Just tell her straight out. Yeah, but it's harder when it's one of us. It'll help that you know Chang too. Yeah, but it's such a shock. I still can't believe it. If you need me, I'm around. Thank you. See you. <sighs> it's almost not worth the trouble going away. Come in. Elaine, I'm so glad to see you. Come, let's go over these reports, huh? While I'm still fresh. Where's that file? Ma'am, hi. What is it, Elaine? Something's happened. Mm hmm? What? It's ASP Chang. I don't know how to tell you this. She's committed suicide. What? Two days ago. She shot herself her own gun. I'm sorry. No. It's impossible. It can't be. There were no prints found except her own. And there were no signs of forced entry. No. Never. Her former colleague says she was not her usual self. She's working on some case, but she doesn't want to tell anybody anything. That's how Chang is. She always says, if you want to do something right, do it yourself. But people also said that she was more eccentric than usual. People! That's the trouble with people. Everyone has to be the same. The moment you're the, just a little bit different, People will say, there's something wrong with you. She must have been depressed. She was all right when I last saw her. Yeah, but sometimes these things are hard to tell. I knew her. I should have known. We also found her will. She had it drawn up just two days before. Ma'am? No. You're in shock. It's, Im it's impossible. It's a terrible thing. I knew Genevieve. She would never kill herself. Never. It was a Type 68. What, the gun? Yeah. The guys at the lab call it the Rolls Royce of handguns. Expensive, very effective at close range. It sounds like a professional killer, but... Why kill a simple boatman? Hmm. But the witness said the boatman was bragging about getting into some new business. Could be smuggling or drugs. Cannot be. Have to sell a lot of fish to buy one kilo of heroin or cocaine. Hmm. Unless he was just a delivery boy. Someone must have been paying him well to do it. Yeah, but then why kill him? Motive is only one of our problems. He will need a boat for smuggling. And it hasn't turned up. Most of the bumboats come in at Changi, right? Let's go fishing. Come in. You know, I don't understand. 
Bandis. She left me a motorcycle. That's nice. It was very special to her. But she knew I would never ride it. I'm fright. I mean, I don't care for motorcycles. Still, I can understand why she chose to give it to a good friend. It's odd. The name of the lawyer, Nerid Menon. I'm sure that's the son of a neighbor, Raju Menon. I'm going to talk to him. Sorry? Maybe you can point me in the right direction. Give me some clues to her death. I'm sorry to say this to you, ma'am, but what clues? I can understand your feelings about this, but so far we have no case. Exactly. We'll make it a case. How? I'll find a way. Ma'am, if you're really serious about this, let me check it out for you. You? Why? Because she helped me with my decision to come back to the force. And I'll always be grateful to her. So you're going to see the lawyer? Thanks. This means a lot to me. Genevieve was always good to me in her own cranky way. After I was admitted to the bar, she called to see if there's anything that she could do. So I offered to do a will. Oh, you suggested a will? Yeah. It was practice, really. She said she was happy to help out even though she didn't really want the will. Oh, what was the state of mind at that point? I've thought about that. She seemed quite okay, you know. She didn't seem depressed at all? Nope. In fact, she seemed excited. She said she was working on a case. A police investigation. Which seems strange because I thought she had retired. She didn't mention anything about this case. I don't think so. No. Nope. Why are you asking me this? Well... There is no question that she committed suicide, is there? Uh, Mr. Menon, thank you for your time. You've been very kind. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Welcome. Elaine? Hi, ma'am. Haven't seen you here in a long time. Yeah, I thought I'd put in some practice. I know. It helps take your mind off things. You know, Chang did not fit the profile of a woman who would commit suicide. Ma'am, we've both had cases where families said they didn't see it coming. Elaine, she did not do it. I don't know what to think. Didn't the lawyer say that her mental state was fine? Ma'am, maybe we just have to accept that suicide is never logical. That's why there's so many conflicting emotions. I know Genevieve was unconventional, but statistics show that women usually leave a suicide note. Right, there was no note. And she was found on the floor. Usually, women who commit suicide, they're usually found lying on their beds. True, usually overdose of pills, but she had an access to a gun. Will you stop presuming that she did it? I'm sorry, ma'am. No. I'm sorry too. I just need to see the photos of the crime scene. I don't think that's a good idea. I have to resolve this once and for all. For the sake of her memory. I have to be sure. So your preliminary findings were consistent with suicide? Yes. Why? Weren't yours? What about the powder burns? You know the trajectory of the bullets? I told you. Consistent. Do you check her blood? Yes. So there's no narcotics? Oh, nothing unusual? 
No. Anything under her fingernails? Please. This little routine is getting tedious. Sorry. Suicide is hard to fake. I know. Now, I haven't seen the photos of the scene yet. Oh, the lab hasn't sent you any? But so far, I haven't come across anything to change my opinion. There wasn't any sign of struggle. Dr. Su, if I can get you the photos of the scene, will you please take another look? I'll have a look at the photos. I'll give you a copy of my final report. Good. Caleb, thank you. so far. Keep on checking. That must be the 17th boat we checked today. I know it's a long shot, but without any leads, all we can do is just check these boats randomly. So, Saturday's a big day, eh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel getting married the second time? Ah, uh, the same, uh... But, uh, different, you know. Well, you're more of an expert on marriage than me. Hey, one time doesn't make me an expert, okay? <laughs> I'm nervous. You say it's different this time. How? Well, for one thing, we don't have our parents around telling us what to do this time. So no more big wedding with uh, 200 guests and all that. Huh? How does Cindy feel about having a new mom? Hey, she's happy for me, you know. And I know she's looking forward to Sweet Chin's cooking. I tell you, she's getting spoiled already. Bird's nest, uh, quail lapis, mango duck. I don't know what else. Sounds good. You guys ever think about adopting me? Ah, you wait. <laughs> oh. yeah, maybe we should call it off. Come back tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, Mohan. We'll come back tomorrow. Going on. Been waiting for one hour already. An unexpected business. Never mind. Change our meeting place. How do we know it's safe? We make the exchange on Friday. So soon. That's not what we planned. You look nervous. Got a problem? No, no problem. Everything's under control now. What do you mean now? Nothing. I mean everything's under control. Just one more shipment before we make the exchange, right? I'll bring it in myself tomorrow night. Had to make other shipping arrangements. Okay. We meet at the warehouse. I don't know. We like the other place, right, Bob? Warehouse is more secure. How do we know that? You don't trust me? Shut up. We'll do it at the warehouse. 
You need to test the product. Of course. 10 o'clock. Just remember to bring the money in a briefcase. We should have gotten these sooner. Yeah, but the lab was busier than usual. I knew there was something wrong. Why? I mean, most women wear makeup, right? You should see my fiance. But Chang didn't. So it was vain. I knew her habits. She would never wear this wig. Yeah, it's totally out of character. Even these shoes. Can you imagine her riding a bike with these? That's another thing. Where is the bike? It only makes sense if she was working undercover. But she was retired, right? So what case would she be working on? You already said she had no unsolved cases when she retired. Maybe she stumbled onto something suspicious. And couldn't resist following it up. Let's go and see Dr. Su again. That's the boat, sir. The fisherman who found this. Did he say anything? No, sir. He was floating out in the sea. He tied it up and called the CID. Yeah, the story checks out. Okay, we'll go now. Okay, thanks. Hey, looks like blood. Looks like I'm missing both. There's gonna be a lot of prints on this boat. Yeah, boy. Passengers, workers. Hey, you carry Hanky, right? Huh? Yeah, what? What's this? Cigar. I found another body. Time. I didn't miss it the first time. I assumed she got the bruise from the fall. You assumed? They said she shot herself in the bedroom. She could have hit her head on the dresser. Yeah, but she landed on soft carpet. Yes, and there will be blood stains wherever she hit her head. Why didn't you look at the photos? Why didn't you tell us? Because, ASP Pang, you are forgetting that I didn't have the photos. I'm just a pathologist, not a psychic. Can we all calm down, please? We're on the same team, remember? I'm sorry, Dr. Su. It's okay. It's difficult for you. But you must agree, this bruise is odd, given the position of the body. Yes, it's more consistent with the blow from behind. Could she have been unconscious before she was shot? Yes. If she had shot herself standing up or sitting at the table, then the blood pattern would have been here. Instead, it's down here. So she was on the floor when she was shot? That's what these blood patterns tell me. They shot her with her own gun after they knocked her out. As forensics, the second boatman died of strangulation sometime late last night. Two bodies in one week. 
Do you think he was involved with Kim Singh and the killer? Maybe. Oh! That looks like another boat. Go and check it out. Check your boat. Alright, Sony. You check lah. Why travel so late? Oh, my, my boss uh, sent me out late lah, then the boat break down. Check the registration. Anything unusual? I found this. Where was it? Down there. Empty. Nothing really useful. Not necessarily. How did you know? I wrote of Chang a few times. Let's get it developed. I knew it. She was working on a cover. Actually, I recognize this too, you know. Harlem. Yep. We arrested them last year for illegal gambling, right? It was Lee Kui Kwan. Yeah, and that's Ma. Why would Chang come out of retirement to investigate a backroom mahjong operation? And these photos don't show anything illegal. Look at the date. These photos have been taken just prior to her death. There's got to be a connection. Ma'am, who's that? Uh? I don't know. You know. Someone must have seen something. We have some informants in coffee shops. We can ask around. Yeah. I'll run a check on this man. Then I'll check with major crimes. Yes, ma'am. Harlem and I will locate this coffee shop. Ma'am. Strangulations related to the other boatman's death. There's no direct evidence, but he was the only person who saw this mysterious passenger. And this passenger was the last person to be seen with Kim Seng. So you think it's the same man? Without more proof, we can't say for sure, sir. And last night's surveillance turned up nothing? No, sir. Look, I can't afford to have two detectives and a bunch of constables scouring the docks for much longer. Don't we have any leads at all? We're still waiting for the fingerprinting results. It's time consuming. But we did find this. A cigar? And a good one too. Expensive. You mean a fisherman is smoking this kind of cigar? something familiar about this. Okay, we better send this guy for a print check. Ma'am. Ma'am? You have something for us? Yes, I need help to bring some suspects in for questioning. Sure, we can help you tomorrow. What are these? Surveillance photos. Taken by Chang just prior to her death. See the date? Surveillance of who? Wait, wait. Hang on, give me a minute. Ma'am, do you have any idea who these men are? These two are known to vice as operators of illegal gambling dens. What about this one? 
Yeah. I've seen him before. Mm. I just can't. He's not in our files. I was hoping maybe your department had run into him. Well, he has a cigar. I'm just not sure if it's the same type. Oh, we can get the picture in large. Oh, that's right. He was on one of the boats last night. Oh, okay. Then prints or no prints with a photo should be easy to identify him. Right? I suspect they have something to do with Chang's murder. ASP Chang's murder? Has anyone seen Ile? Eh, hey, I'll let Ma'am, you better fill us in. Meng, Lopi. Pio. This is Max Tan with the news in brief. The body of a boatman was found strangled in Changi last night. The man has been identified as 35 no, year old The police say that at this stage, they're not sure if the murder is connected with the last night. He said he had business. So? So? So it was him. The shadow man. Keep your voice down. I knew he was trouble. Never mind. After tonight, he leave town. You got the money? Yeah. You meet me here at 9.30. He's meeting us at the warehouse at 10. Time now for the weather in Singapore. So you think she got too close to whatever activity the suspects were involved in? Going undercover was never a strong point. Why would she do it? She was a police woman for a long time. Maybe she felt that she had to disguise herself to avoid being recognized. Sounds like she might have been recognized anyway. I think they followed her home. She often forgot to lock her front door. I used to have to remind her about that. We'll get that man. Micah, I got it. Name is Alex Chung, also known as Shadow Man. He's uh, wanted in three countries for drug trafficking and murder. Murder? Yeah. Well, his prints match those on the cigar in the boat. That's it. He must have had the drugs on the boat. But we checked it. Yeah, Mike here. Yeah, hang on a second. Ma'am, for you. Fang here. What message? <sighs> he didn't leave a message saying she's going to Changi. These two are going to meet at a warehouse down by the docks a little after 10. How does she know? To put from a witness in the previous gambling case. He overheard them talking in his coffee shop. Could be an exchange. You better call Yiling. This shadow man's a killer. Yes, let's go.
don't trust you. Let's see the cash. You gonna count it all now? Don't make him mad. Let's just finish this and go. that Chan can't be with us to accept credit for cracking this drug trafficking case. It's ironic. This would have been the biggest case. Now that Bob has confessed to planning the murder with Lee, we know the real circumstances behind her death. And we can honour her the way she deserves. Thank you. By the way, these were found in Lee's flat. They're the keys to Chan's motorcycle. I wouldn't know what to do with this. Or that bike. Maybe you should try riding it. <laughs> you know, Pam, without your perseverance, we may not have solved this case. Well, she would have done the same for me. Now that the case is closed, I know she would say that life must go on. Good advice. Hey, real enough. <laughs> hey, Pa, are you nervous? No, should I be nervous? Hey, before I forget, you got the ring, right? Hey, of course. <laughs> It was just here, right? Like, did you leave in the car? Put it down somewhere. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe switch it. <laughs> okay, you two, stop it. Enough is enough. Oh, so she just spoiled the fun, man. No, she's small. <laughs> oh, you were in on this. Well, they told me about it, but <laughs> I just couldn't see you suffer like this. Yeah, I expect it from these two, but not from my wife to be. <laughs> Can we begin, please? Mr. Leong Hing Man, will you take Miss Chung Sui Chin to be your wedded wife to live together in the legal estate of matrimony? Yes, I do. Will you love her, comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Miss Chung Sui Chin, will you take Mr. Leong Hing Man to be your wedded husband 
to live together in the legal estate of matrimony? Yes, I do. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.